So let me tell you something interesting about the mind. The mind has the power to travel across time and space. When your mind is always stuck in the past, this is what leads to depression. When your mind is always focused on the future, it leads to anxiety. A lot of people say, I want to feel whole. I want to feel complete. But ultimately, that desire really stems from this deep, primal, inner desire for my body and mind to be connected together. Hi guys, this is Linda. Welcome to Brain Education TV. If this is your first time, welcome! So glad you're here! Make sure you click subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click the bell for notifications of each new episode. In this video, I'm going to talk about why it's important to be in the present moment. If you practice meditation or if you're into energy work or spirituality or mindfulness at all, you've probably heard this a million times, be in the present, be here, be now. And if you're like me, your favorite question to ask when someone tells you to do something is why? If you've practiced meditation and mindfulness and someone told you, be in the present moment. Have you also asked, but why? So if you've ever wondered what is the benefit, why should I be in the present moment, I'm breaking it down for you in this video. So as we all know, the state of your mind is what determines the quality of your life. Someone whose mind is filled with negative things has no other choice but to live a pretty miserable, sad life. But someone whose mind is full of positive things has no other choice but to live a very happy, fulfilling, and purposeful life. So this is to say that your mind is the key to your life. But not many people know how to control and use their minds well. Usually, most people find themselves being a slave to their mind. So for example, even if you don't want to think about a negative thing, your mind drags you to a negative place. Or even if you want to be positive, your mind pulls you away from positivity. So I think a lot of people are stuck in a state where they feel like their mind is out of control. Their mind doesn't do what they want it to do. So let me tell you something interesting about the mind. The mind has the power to travel across time and space. What that means is your mind has the power to travel to the past, it has the power to be in the present, and your mind can also think about the future, think about things that haven't even happened yet. And on top of that, your mind is not confined to the place that you're at. So let's say that my my physical body is in Arizona, my mind has the ability to travel to New York, to travel to California, to travel to Korea, to travel to Africa, to travel across continents, and even not just in this world, my mind has the ability to travel to other dimensions, other realms. So, okay, if that sounds too hoo-ha for you, then don't worry about it. My point is, is that your mind is not trapped within the physical location where you are. So because of that, your mind is very free. Your mind is not limited by time and space. However, your physical body is totally confined to time and space. Your physical body can only be in two places. One, here, the present moment, your body cannot travel to the past, your body cannot travel to the future. I'm sorry guys, there's no such thing as time machines. Your physical body cannot go back into the past, your physical body cannot go into the future. And also, your physical body, number two, can only be in the space that you are located. So your physical body can only be in the present, in this moment, in this physical location right now. Whereas your mind has the power to travel to the past, present, future, here, there, over there, anywhere you want it to go. So taking these two things, these two things are the main things that make up your life right now. Your body and your mind that drives the body. So now let's take these two things and take a closer look at them. So what do you think will happen if your physical body that can only be here in the present moment and your mind are not together? Let's say that your physical body is here and your mind is constantly thinking about the past, regretting about things you did, regretting about relationships, holding on to past hurt, past trauma, playing those things over and over and over again in your head. Let's say your mind is always in the past. What do you think will happen? 
When your mind is always stuck in the past, this is what leads to depression. Look at this gap here. So your body, let's say this is your body, right? This is your body. Okay, let's make this a finger so it's easier to see. This is your body and this is your mind. Your body and mind should be one like this. But because your mind is free to travel everywhere else, if your mind is in the past, the bigger this gap between your body and your mind, the bigger the state of depression you will be in. Why? Because your mind is not together with your body and some people dwell a little bit in the past, some people dwell a little bit more in the past, some people dwell a lot, a lot, a lot. Some people dwell so much in the past that you can't even see where the mind is. So the bigger the gap here between your mind and body, the bigger the depression because you're dwelling on the past. So now let's look at the other side. Let's say that your mind is always worried about the future. You're always worried about who you're gonna get married to, what kind of job you're gonna have, what kind of health condition you will be in 10 years from now. You're always thinking ahead, ahead, future, 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 and your mind is not here in the present moment. So let's say your mind starts to shift the other direction into the future. What do you think will happen if your mind shifts to the other direction? When your mind is always focused on the future, it leads to anxiety. So if you're someone who's suffering from anxiety, check to see, are you really thinking about the present moment or is your mind always constantly worried about the future? So here too, just like depression in the past, the bigger the gap is between where your body is, the time and space your body is, and your mind wandering off into some distant future you have no idea, all the way over here, the bigger the gap here, the greater your anxiety. So now like this, the relationship to your mind, to your body, is what determines different states of being. Depression in the past, anxiety in the future, and everything else in between. So which of these are you more prone to? Are you more prone to having your mind thinking about the past, or is your mind more prone to thinking about the future? So then now what happens when your body and mind are together in the present moment? Look at this. So this is my body, this is my mind. If these two things are aligned in the same place, same time, what happens is you feel a deep sense of connectedness, wholeness, and peace. In the work that I do, when I ask people, what is it that you want? A lot of people say, I want to feel whole. I want to feel complete. But ultimately, that desire really stems from this deep, primal, inner desire for my body and mind to be connected together. And the only place that your body and mind can be connected together is if you are in the present moment. So now you might be wondering, what does it even mean for my mind to be in the present moment? Your mind to be on the present moment means your mind is here. Your mind is focused on the task at hand. Your mind is focused on the relationship at hand. Your mind is focused on the conversation at hand. It's not like I'm physically here talking to somebody, but my mind is somewhere else, right? That's not in the present moment. So whatever action, whoever you are with, whatever project you're working on, it's being here, totally focused on that situation, that person, that circumstance here and now. And the great thing about all this is, is that the choice is completely ours. It's our choice to have our mind be here and now, or our choice also to be stuck so much in the past that I can't even think about what's happening now, or worried so much about the future that I can't even think about what's happening now. It's our choice where we place the mind. So that, in a nutshell, is the importance of being in the present moment. That feeling of being whole, connected, at peace, not out of my mind, <laughs> together with myself, savoring, enjoying every single moment because that moment will never come to me ever again. That person, that conversation, that location, that experience, all of it will never come. So completely being here, savoring each and every moment to raise the quality of my life and how much I feel fulfilled in this lifetime. So. If you want to live your best life and you want to feel peaceful and whole, 
That is why we practice mindfulness. That is why we practice meditation to train our minds to be in the present moment because it is not easy without training. So there you go. That's the importance of staying in the present moment. If you have anything to add to this, I would love to hear your comments. Please let me know in the comments below if you have some tips or if you have some experiences being in the present moment, what, what my sharing means to you, what you felt from it, anything that you want. I love reading your comments. So please leave whatever you want to say down below and I'll respond to them. And if you're also looking for some ways to practice meditation, practice mindfulness, I have a 10 minute routine playlist on our channel on Brain Education TV where you'll see lots of different exercises, meditations to feel your body, connect with your body, and bring your mind to the present moment. Thanks for tuning in guys! See you next time! Bye!